Hello guys and welcome to a new Warno video today by me Vulcan. In this one I have for you a 1 vs 1 on 2 ways and I'm going to be using the KDA Berserk Erfurt. I'm up against Matron once again in this one who's going to be using the 39th guards this time around and this is game 3 of a best of 5 in the grand final of the Warno League Season 0 Division 2. So if you missed the last couple games, definitely go back and check them out, not only for spoiler purposes, but because they were fantastic games, you will not want to miss them. But with that said, I did lose the last game. So it is currently 1-1 in the series, and moving into this game, I'm going to want to secure a second win in order to be in a comfortable position in this best of five. Now let me take you quickly through the picks and bans. I was the one this time around to pick two ways. Uh, it is a map that I quite like and I'm generally quite familiar with. Then Matrin decided to ban the 35th Guards Air Assault against me, which is a division I'm very comfortable with, and he probably knew that at the time. It can also be pretty decent on this map, particularly for getting some decent forward deployment because it can come with a lot of Spetsnaz. I then decided to ban the 4th Mutschutzen because he'd just beaten me with it, and I'd seen him beat Fanti with it twice already, so I didn't really want to give him a chance to do that again, take him off balance. So I decided to then pick KDA, which is a division that I don't play all that often, but is a very strong division, and then Matrin opted to go for the 39th Guards, which is another strong division that I had been banning in the first couple games. So it's going to be an interesting matchup for sure, but one thing that's great for me with KDA versus the 39th, I've got very strong forward deployment because I still have the Spetsnaz that I would have otherwise had in the 35th Guards Air Assault. So I've got a bunch of these Spetsnaz OP and the Spetsnaz and they are going to be pushing as hard as they can towards Delta and try and exploit the lack of forward deployment that the 39th has uh, because they have to rely very heavily on their recon infantry to do the same and their recon infantry isn't all that great. I've got a Spetsnaz OP going for the mid, and then on the right, Spetsnaz OP and the Spetsnaz. Got a KDA Schutzen in the SBW 152K, and I've also got the flat SFL there on the right hand side. Got two UAZs at the start, going to be going for the cap on Bravo and Echo, get myself a little bit of a points lead potentially. And then I've got following up on the left a couple of SBG 9s, OSA, a couple of SBW 152s with the KDA Schutzen, a 120mm mortar for smoke, and the flat SFL here. But my forward deployment getting me into the buildings here very quickly indeed. You can see I am unloading one of my Spetsnaz early on purpose just in case he managed to get some vehicles here before me. But this is really nice for me. I'm going to put my Spetsnaz into the church. Uh, my two Spetsnaz here just chilling in that building. Get the Spetsnaz into the mid early on. So overall a really strong opening position for me on the map which is exactly what I was going for. My strategy to get into this town had already started off quite successful. Now my Spetsnaz OP here unfortunately going to get hit pretty hard by the Resvidka Sapari that Matron's going to be bringing in but they are no match for the Spetsnaz and as this engagement gets underway my two squads of KDA Schutzen also arrive so I have superior numbers here by far he is bringing up his BTR-60 PBs to join the engagement, but one of those is going to get taken out by my Rapira AT gun, and I'm trying to get the RPG on target from this KDA Schutzen. The KDA Schutzen, they've got pretty awful accuracy on the RPG-7, so <laughs> currently just trying to wait for that to hit the mark. This Spetsnaz getting very low though. I did opt to bring in a MiG-21 to try and bomb that but I decided against it because it would have been a waste of a bombing strike and if I just get it out now that'll be reloaded and I can bring it back in in just a bit. Unfortunately I didn't manage to micro my Spetsnaz out of the building fast enough so that did go down but with this position more or less secure against his recon infantry I'm able to now move in uh, with the KDA Schutzen and bring up supply to get the Spetsnaz back up to full strength. Spetsnaz OP in the mid meanwhile did take out the BMP2 which was a really nice kill for me. SPG9 now moving up to try and deal with the UAZ KPV. 
On the left, SPW152K does get taken out, telling me that there is a unit here. Meanwhile, this one's just moving up hard on the flank to try and see what's going on. I've got Spetsnaz OP that's going to be running from tree line to tree line around that left side. And we've got the Spetsnaz now covering the road here, which I unloaded there early on. So just going to be developing this position now. Two MI2s on the way, one on the far left, just making sure he's not flanking me, doing any weird shenanigans, because I haven't really seen all that much uh, at the start of the game. We've bumped into his recon infantry here and we've killed it. Uh, I did kill the BMP2 in the middle and we can see a T80BV, but he could very easily have some infantry moving around the flanks like BMP2s or BMP3s, that kind of thing. So that's what I was kind of worried about. Anyway, SPG-9 here going to be helping to try and engage the Mojstroki BMP, but my Spetsnaz kind of in a bad spot. They're not really going to get away from that. Like, there's potential that they might, but I was kind of resigned to the fact that they were going to die, and the T-80BV finishes them off. So on the left-hand side, I do find the OP squad that was there with their RPG-29. We'll be taking that out at some point. SBW152K, meanwhile, is finding the Mortestrelki over here. But I'm just, again, developing this position. More KDA shoots and even bringing in the leader to start contesting this early on. Uh, I've got a leader moving over to Alpha as well. So these KDA shoots are really, really difficult to dislodge. And that is the plan. Just sit here, become real sticky, and contest this sector. So you're all now arriving with the supply, really, really important, not only to resupply the RPO of the Spetsnaz, but also to bring them back up to full strength. BTR 60 PB is trying to get round the flank here, are bumping into my Spetsnaz OP, so I'm going to be able to take those out. And again, more stuff coming in, even some pioneers now with the flamethrowers. Flat SFL is going to be joining me in the mid, as I do bring a couple of KDA shoots in here, to contest this as well because I can't forget about the mid. The mid's actually worth the most on this map. It is a plus three sector so you do want to make sure you focus on it but MiG-21 coming in there for a successful bombing strike. This MiG-21 having a hard time finding a target as the unit that I was going to bomb ended up dying very quickly to the Spetsnaz. But here it comes. Bombs away. Going to be taking down Plenty of buildings there, that's for sure. KD8, cleaning house, getting some good damage there onto the Motor Strauchy. Now the best thing about KD8 shoots and is the longer that they stay alive, the better they become. So this KD8 shoots and right now is a two veterancy, 14 man squad, because it's killed a bunch of Motor Strauchy and taken out a couple of APCs. So it's vetted up nicely. Once the leader arrives, this is in fact going to be a three veterancy KDA Schutzen, which is really, really scary for Matrin to deal with. So my reinforcements now arriving. I'm getting deep into his town and just slowly but surely trying to take care of his infantry. He does bring up an MI-24, which is a nice choice if he can keep it out of range of my AA. But the flat SFL, absolutely beautiful for taking down helicopters. And that MI-24 having a real bad time is going to get taken out of the sky nice and efficiently. Osa also moving forwards quite aggressively now, getting up close and personal in the town. And the thing that I'm going to do here is keep my Spetsnaz close to my infantry. I don't want to leave it at the back of the sector because he'll probably try and bomb it or arty it or whatever. So I'm going to actually try and keep it with my forces so that the KDA shoots and get veterancy. And my Spetsnaz leader is in a less predictable position. So in the mid, KDA shoots and are going to find Motostrogi Metis, which is fine going to be killing those off. This one unfortunately getting chipped quite a lot, but I can fix that up. I've got a an AT gun on the way. Another flat SFL. We've got a bunch of units back here as well. A couple of SPG-9s. Spetsnaz OP. Just looking to become as sticky as possible whilst continuing to contest the middle of the map. So now sitting on the plus two, I'm extremely comfortable in this position. I have a lot of units here. 
And many of them are indeed these SBW 152Ks. There's a gas in there. But that's a lot of infantry. Like multiple 14 man infantry squads that are going to get topped off by the Euro. I've got the Pioneer with the Flamethrower. I've got Spetsnaz in there even. So Batrin having a bit of a hard time in that sector, but he is going to secure Charlie, which is going to force me to do something about it. Because even though I'm contesting his Delta sector, he is going to be sitting on the plus one because Charlie is a plus three sector. So I can't just sit idly and take this town and be happy with that. I also have to make sure I contest the middle of the map. So if you're looking at this now and thinking, oh, Vulcan's won because... He's taken a huge position on the left-hand side. Like, that's all very well, but Matron really, really putting on a lot of pressure here in the middle of the map and really punishing me by taking out those KDA shoots and that are relatively unsupported at the moment. Pioneers with flamethrowers still trying to get further up, get into a good position. The Sepedi RPO are a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to have to be careful as I jump up. Probably didn't notice them at the time because otherwise wouldn't have made that move. You can see I immediately react and run the opposite direction. Uh, up against Sapari RPO with the KDA shits and because I have so many men here, it's not so much of an issue. I can actually force the Sapari RPO to waste all of their ammo and then just overrun them with the amount of men that I have. You can also see that I do have the MiG-21s returning. Anytime I'm seeing an infantry squad, I'm just bringing the MiG-21s back in to kill them off. And this is going to basically force Matrin to buy AA ASAP to deal with these. Otherwise, he's going to be in a real bad position because he's going to have to constantly replace his infantry. But all of those MiGs are going to go down, and that was not ideal. But it does give me an even better position in the town. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do here at the moment is get... A position set up with the 100mm AT gun, the SPG-9 and the KDA Schutzen to get back into the corner of this sector and then have the MI-8TB kind of cover that. But it's a real sort of narrow approach for these kinds of units and if he has a couple of T-80s here I'm in a real bad spot. Meanwhile you can see my Spetsnaz OP that were originally here. I've slowly snuck them all the way through the trees and they're going to be heading to the Gulf sector to try and find a command there. Meanwhile, KDA shoots and finishing off another Sapari RPO that had used up its RPO launcher. And I've got the Spetsnaz OP even moving around on the left side. Now, if I manage to take out his command in this sector, then I will in fact be at the plus one. If I can fully control the sector, then that's great. But at the moment, Matrin going to be making it as difficult as possible because the further that I extend towards his spawn the easier it's going to be for him to hit me with airstrikes hit me with helicopters without my AA like being in the best position so that's why I'm going to be starting to move the flat SFLs forwards here uh, towards the edge of the town I've also got a MiG-27M about to come in. I really need to get rid of this T-80BV in the middle because there's not really much for me to deal with that right now and once that's gone, I can then think about moving further up with the Mudshudson. So MI-8TB going to be having a quick go at the BMP, but Matrin going to be replying with the Strela 10M. Nice quick smoke reaction there as well is going to cause my MiG-27 to get shot down without finding the kill onto the T-80BV. So Matrin still on the money with his tank micro, and that is going to cost me that plane. Meanwhile, Spetsnaz trying to get around the flank here, find their way towards whatever leader is holding the flank here. But he has brought up an infantry squad just in time that's going to be covering off the left side of that sector. Meanwhile, SBW-152K, I had that kind of shifting up here to see what was there. But the T-80, still very much alive, going to be covering off as my SBW moves forwards just shifts out of the smoke and takes the shot there i have brought up a bunch of these t55s but they are just waiting for the right time to push i probably should have had them starting to move up now but as you can see i do spot the btr 60 pk pbk on the left but my spetsnaz op are going to go down before they find the kill so a little bit unfortunate for me there 
Spetsnaz coming off to in the meanwhile are going to be looking to get into the tree line here anyway and can test this. SPG-9 also moving forwards to try and help deal with the BMP. So in go the Spetsnaz Komrotti. Unfortunately, Sapelli RPO getting the better of the KDA shoots him for the time being. But the TATBV does have direct line of sight onto the Spetsnaz. So going to be having to try and hide them as quickly as possible. In the corner, I can see he's got a TATBVK capturing here. And on the left, I did bring in a bomber to have a go at the BRDM, but he must have moved it or my bombs missed the mark. Yeah, I think he moved it when I brought that in. So sneaky little play there from Matrin just to get that out of the way. But currently now the plus two as my command did continue to contest this. But he's now got artillery on the field and that's going to be wiping them out. SPG-9 now engaging the Razvedka, not doing too much damage. E55 still chilling further back. Had kind of forgotten about them most likely at this point as my Spetsnaz was being microed in this sector to try and find the command and I'm still trying to worry about removing the command in Delta. So here's SU-22 coming in there has obviously spotted the Spetsnaz running around in his back line so trying to go for a cheeky bombing strike there. It's a pretty safe bombing strike to do so makes sense. His artillery firing away once again SPG-9 though, meanwhile, does go down and my 100mm AT gun currently under artillery fire. Now I realised relatively quickly that I'm not going to be able to push through here or at least, you know, contest the sector from this point. So what I just tried to do instead is move KDA Schutzen and Mod Schutzen round on this right hand side, unload them and then run through to this part of the forest. Because this part of the forest I can contest with my better infantry. Up against his tanks though, I'm going to be having a hard time. Over here, getting more shots onto his helicopter with the flat SFL. T-55, going to be able to take out the T-62. I pushed all of those out of the edge of the town. Now looking for the BTR-60 PBK, but it misses. Absolutely tragic there for the T-55. Not finding the kill, but forcing him out of the sector is going to continue to gain my score. So we are up to over 500 points now. T-55s have been found by Matron's infantry here. And this was probably just as well, but unfortunately for me, one of his squads here snipes a truck and what was in that truck it was a leader <laughs> so a little bit unfortunate for me <laughs> nice flanking move by matrin though pushing heavily through the trees there in the center of the map but meanwhile i've managed to make some good ground and get him out of the delta sector so still maintaining the plus one now spetsnaz still running around looking for his command in golf as well mi2 now just going to be camping out here making sure that the, any of the infantry in this tree area doesn't come over to the uaz that's a tree area forest is what i meant to say <laughs> su25 coming in will clean up the t55s uh, as they try to continue pushing forwards. I don't want to get too overzealous here. I just want to make sure that I'm holding the edge of the town, not allowing him to get a command in. But Spetsnaz, they're going to be finding an MTLB. And I'm going to just be going deeper to try and find the command. BMP2 is going to get taken out. Looking for a second here with the AT gun. This AT gun actually doing me a lot of favours. And there we go, we find the Motostroke Comrati, but it is joined by Azapuri RPO, and these best as OP go down without finding the command kill. KDA shoots some meanwhile, going to be having to go at the TATBV, and over here I have the MI8TB rocketing the infantry. I've also got an MI24P that's going to be moving forwards with the MI2 to clean out this infantry. SU22 meanwhile on the left does get a nice bombing strike in here hoping to shoot that down didn't quite find the kill though but here we go mi24p turning round getting its guns on target it's got the twin 30 mil it's pretty nasty 
fall about Motorez Vedka. But SFL, meanwhile, does die. Mona Strauki, BMP, managed to find a decent hit there. I am going to be forced to fall back a little bit. He did unload a couple of infantry here in the BMPs and they came in. Found one of my flare SFLs that were a little bit too far up. But more reinforcements on the way. Another supply just to make sure that I can continuously top off my infantry and keep them supplied with RPOs here, for example. AT still trying to get into the TATB. MI2, unfortunately, taken out of the sky. But did manage to get a good position on this side of the center sector. I will be starting to put some pressure on there soon. And you can see that I am now bringing in a couple of T-55s to join this. And I'll be getting a new command that will be able to move in from that direction soon. T-80BV though, going to make life difficult for the T-55. But the 100mm AT gun still doing very, very nicely. But here comes the SU-25, takes out my MI-8 TB and my MI-24. Could have probably taken out the MI-2 as well. I had no AA support there for those helicopters. And the SU-25 taking complete advantage. Absolutely nasty. These SU-25s are one of the main reasons why the 39th guards can be so oppressive so i've got to be super careful against these but he is going to be accidentally flying it over near my aa once again and the osa at least finds a kill on that one uaz on its way to counter cap this sector i had at this point ran out of infantry commands i believe like at least the uh, spetsnaz Komrati. So I had to use a UAZ to counter cap, which is not great because it's very easy to kill. So I've basically got to make sure that that stays hidden, otherwise it will die. But meanwhile, I am getting some Malkas on target. And these are some very, very big artillery. They have 6.9 HE. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. If they hit the mark, they do tons of damage. So I'm arting the back side of this sector. And that's going to force him to move his command out. And puts me on a plus four at this point in the game. So now I have something to counter his heavy tanks. And meanwhile, what I'm going to do is arty the Mojostrauki out of both this building and the tree line here. Whilst the UAZ continues to move up, bringing up more reinforcements. Got the T-55s on the way. Things are looking pretty good for me in this game so far. A strong position set up in the town and now also able to contest the middle of the map. So yeah, a strong plus four is exactly what I'm going to need. And the artillery coming in here, cleaning out the infantry definitely going to be helpful moving forwards it also completely destroys all of these buildings but no one's going to be able to use them for decent cover moving forwards but you can see the t80 did get slapped about by the artillery in the corner so i'm going to be going for another salvo there meanwhile conkers coming up to help cover the center and i've got conkers coming up to sit on the edge of the town. I can't have the Spetsnaz sit on the corner here. That would be bad. Crazy line of sight there found by the T-80B. Kills my supply vehicle. And then the BMP infantry managed to jump forwards and kill the Osa. So a little bit unfortunate getting called out. You wouldn't expect the line of sight in the middle of this town to be so open, but it actually is. A UAZ was forced out by the Motostrauki Metis here. But my artillery comes in in the meantime and neutralizes that sector. So I'm pretty happy with that. Meanwhile, SU-22 coming in is going to take out a couple of my infantry squads. But I've managed to kill the Motostrauki Metis in the middle. So the UAZ is going to have a chance to move back into that sector if needs be. Meanwhile, T-62s are coming up to counter the T-80 and the armoured units that Matron's trying to use to push back in. 
And he is slowly but surely making ground back into the sector. And it mainly comes down to the fact that I was, of course, focusing on cleaning out the middle. So our priorities have definitely shifted. He's now focusing here. I'm focusing in the mid. SU-25 in the meanwhile, though, going to be taking down the MI-2. And I'm looking for the kill onto the BMP-3. Just get rid of as much of this armoured support as I can. But the SU-25 not going to be making things easy. Flat SFL doing its best to take that out of the sky. Artillery coming into the mid once again. Those Malkas being very, very strong for me at this point. Now looking for the SU-22 cluster on the left-hand side. In the mid, SU-25 did come in, but gets taken out by the flat SFL. So T-62s pushing from right to left. I did spot that another command tank was in position here. But the most strokey taking out one of my T-62s, T-80B taking out the second, then the command tank taking out the third. Really, really rough. SU-22 now coming into the mid, taking out the T-80, shooting down the enemy helicopter, then dying. Not too bad value for me. Now the UAZ moving in with those tanks dead does put me at a plus five. So still counting the score up, but do not want to accidentally drive into that artillery. T-55 is going to be joining me here. But left side looking... Not as good as it once was. Like, a lot of my troops have been broken down. So I'm going to have to reinforce that with more Pioneers. Pioneers of Flamethrowers. And the standard Pioneers. Meanwhile, another T813 on the way, just to keep things topped off. And you can see that I'm still keeping my Spestans Gomorati with my infantry. But their weapons are turned off, so they don't reveal themselves against enemy infantry. Enemy Command has moved into this sector once again. This turns out to be a supply vehicle. I thought that that was the command vehicle at the time, but it's probably going to be in the corner there. BMP-1P did come through, but the Mochitsun and just about saving that. Meanwhile, artillery coming in on the flat SFL, and you can just see how crazy this game really was. SU-22 failing its bombing strike towards the UAZ here, and also the Second SU-22 also failing its bombing strike, but they're going to be coming around for second runs. BTR-60 now doing a runner, as that artillery did come in from before. There we go. Bomb's going to drop this time. Gets the kill onto the T-55. These T-55s are up on the ridge here. I'm trying to currently fire down onto the BTR-60. This T-55 already missed one shot, just missed a second shot. And will miss a third shot. <laughs> really, really unfortunate for me not to kill that BTR. It should be dead, especially considering it survived a Malka strike previously. Anyway, Spetsnaz currently having to do a runner because all of their supporting infantry has gone down. The AA is slowly being picked apart and all of the other units that I had here supporting. So that infantry needs to get here ASAP. Meanwhile, my artillery coming back in, slapping the corner of the sector to try and get myself into a strong position in the center before I lose the left. But TATB does go down. My Spetsnaz Gomrotti actually take that out with their RPG-26. So absolutely clutch played there. But of course, I have now revealed the position of the Spetsnaz Gomrotti, so they're going to have to get a move on. My mortar is going to be trying to fire away, but in an absolutely awful position. And yeah, it's just come down to... My leaders holding positions here now. I've got the KDA Schutzen back here. They did briefly spot the enemy T-80. So I was hoping that maybe I could cluster that on the left-hand side and make his life difficult in contesting Delta with that CV. But Mochitz and Spetsnaz, they were intended to jump out of here and either go right to this sector or go up to this sector. This time around, artillery finds the mark, kills off that BTR that was low health. SU-22 going to come in on the left, looks for the enemy T-80 that I'd spotted with the KDA Schutzen, but I don't find the kill. He must have moved it because he saw my unit previously. It's now trying to get on top of the Spetsnaz Comrotti T-80 BV briefly shooting at it. 
100mm AT gun getting a nice shot in there forces the T-80B B to smoke. I do now have an MI-8 helping us out. But the whole idea here is just to keep this one alive whilst contesting here. But he's brought up an MI-24V and I didn't have anything to protect my UAZ against that because the flat SFL that I had here died previously. So this MI-24 has massive dominance in the center of this map right now. It's going to be able to take out the Spetsnaz OP with its 80mm rocket and potentially anything more if it keeps going. Meanwhile, BMP-3 on the left-hand side did get on top of my Pioneers. I actually fire-positioned the BMP so that my Pioneers used their satchel to kill it. You see here the KDA shoots and causing problems in the back line. Nice kill by the SU-22 does take out the MI-8 because most of my AA is dead here. It uh, does get away with a pretty free kill and will be coming around for the bombing strike on the way out. So KDA shoots and going to be going down valiantly at the back there after causing a number of issues. T-80BB sits still for two seconds, does come under Malka fire, hoping to get a good shot on target there but the shots landing either side. Meanwhile though the pioneers with flamethrower are holding nicely, keeping the enemy away from the Spesnaz Comrati, allowing me to maintain the plus two. Now the BMP2s however are pushing aggressively through the center I've got much Schutzen pushing from this side, but I can't get over aggressive here. I can't reveal this is happening because the MI-24 could just easily run this over. Conkers also being found, taken out by the Motostroke BMP. I'm just waiting to get more reinforcements on the way, but I've got a UAZ. That's going to be trying to move into position. Meanwhile, on this left side, T-80B going to be going down. The Spetsnaz once again saving themselves with that RPG-26. And the Pioneer here getting very low, but then saved by the T-62s. So constant pressure all over the map, back and forth from the mid. And on the left-hand side, he's really trying very, very hard to find and kill the Spetsnaz Gomrotti. In this case, he probably got, could have gone for a cheeky bombing strike here, so I decide to get them on the move again and try and hide them. But as long as these are Separi RPA, my T-62s can just kill them off nice and easy peasy. Osa here in the mid manages to miss three shots in a row onto the MI-24V in the center. That is BMP-2's kind of a problem right now. Flat SFL just going to be suiciding towards that as I am focusing on microing this left side, staying on top of the Separi Apio and the Razvedka Separi with the T-62M so they do not find the Spetsnaz Komrati. Flat SFL does go down. BMP-2 is now getting very, very close to my UAZ in Bravo. SU-25, meanwhile, looking for the gun runs onto the T-62s, but the unit that I was killing did go down, so he didn't get a clean run. UAZ is now dead in Bravo, but there's 8 minutes 30 seconds left on the clock. Can Matrin do enough to bring it back? Because at the moment, things are looking pretty dire, but with the kill onto the Rosford Kasapati, the SU-25 not able to get an AT on target. Mudschutzen do get found, meanwhile, on the right-hand side of this sector, which is really bad news because i got a UAZ moving right up there now. And the flat SFL did get killed that was supposed to be the counter. So I've got a bunch of T-55s, or a couple T-55s and a T-62 scrambling to clean out the BMPs. And MI-2 obviously there to provide recon. Now he's captured the mid. He's actually at a plus three. BMP2 is going to get taken out, looking for the second as it drives straight into my T55. And job done. Cleaned that out. Going to get a UAZ back into the sector, bring it back down to only a plus one for Matrin. SPG9, meanwhile, is going to get a cheeky snide shot onto the T80BV, taking that down to three health as it charges towards my back line. SU25 still trying to get a good angle onto my units, but just blobbing up here around my leader to keep it protected. SU-22 coming in with the cluster there. Easy peasy kill onto the T-80. Also manages to shoot down the enemy helicopter whilst dying itself. MiG-23 MF coming in to try and intercept the SU-25. Second one coming over for the kill. 
taking this out pretty important because if he gets the recon on target that can do so much damage i did unfortunately have to lose one of my own mig 23s for that kill but the second one here i'm going to be trying its best to get out and does manage to do so so yeah the mi8 there getting very close to spotting my infantry but i'm keeping the gun turned off so they never maintain line of sight on those spetsnaz Osa meanwhile does get killed off i'm now going to be opting to use my su-22m to attack the mi-24b but i see a couple of these bmp3s next to each other so i'm going to be hitting that instead take the free bmp kills there mi-8 meanwhile going to be going for the attack onto the motostrauki bmp just shifting them back so that I can get the rockets on target because currently it's too close for me to get the nose down for the rockets. 100 mil AT gun finally getting RT'd out of position there. And T-55 does go down. So things very, very much touch and go at the moment. It could easily completely swing in Matron's favor. If he manages to break down my little bit of force in Delta, then pursue to echo i'm gonna have like nothing here and there's nothing here either and he already figured that one out by charging the bmps straight through my lines unfortunately my t813 here gets killed off by my own mi8 he previously captured it would have probably been a good idea to try and capture that back with my t55 but my mi8 killed it too quickly sbg9 trying to hold back the most tracking meanwhile and the flat sfl moving up to support give my Units on the left, a little bit of AA. Now SU-22 is coming in again, looking for the bombing strikes. Very, very close there. Takes out the T-62. Flat SFL gets killed off by the SU-25. Let's now survive with two health. Four minutes, 47 left on the clock. SU-22 coming across, taking out the MI-2 and shoots down the MI-8 with the SU-25. I do manage to at least kill the SU-22 M4 for that and I'm able to get my MiG back in the air to have a go at the SU-25. I'm going to be able to clean that up. Now looking for the cluster strike onto his command which did end up being on this side very sneaky policeman there my mochutsu are not stopping to launch their rpg but unfortunate for me but the t55 does manage to find the kill that's going to neutralize the charlie sector so it is now a plus two but his bmps have managed to sneak around the left side here and put some pressure into echo but MI8 going to be going down, SU-22 doing a decent job. Unfortunately, SU-27 now on the field. The big boy fighter of the 39th is going to take out one of my aircraft as the MiG-21 BIS tries to come in and get a gun run. He's uh, too smart to let me get that kill. Osa's trying to have a go. SU-27 almost finding the kill, but that is it. As Matrin surrenders, he realizes he can't win this game. And I actually end up winning with a negative KD. Would you look at that? But a massive conquest score victory for me. Managed to really pull off my victory condition. The plan went very well. Taking his town, being a real nuisance there. As soon as he starts putting effort in trying to take that back, I can put effort into the middle and continue to contest there as well. So overall, my early positioning with the Spetsnaz really giving me a leg up in this matchup that would otherwise have been very, very hard if I'd allowed it to remain uh, like a standard game. So really, really good. Yeah, 7,805 kills to 8,065 losses. That left side just got completely <laughs> obliterated over time by Matron's superior forces. But I held on with that Spetsnaz leader, absolute hero. This KD-8 doing nicely there at the start of the game, cleaning out a lot of stuff from that town. Like early on, 
my units did a great job of cleaning out that town in the mid the 100 mil at gun killing plenty of the bmp 2s stopping him from building those up to push back especially as op here picking off plenty of uh, units that were in the back sector. So this was the Spetsnaz OP, I believe, that was trying to hunt for the CV in his in his back line. There was a couple times where I just ended up shooting his reinforcements. So that actually made a pretty nice difference for the contesting in the middle of the map. T55 finding the BTR 60 PBK there eventually. Artillery in the end didn't do all that much. Uh, I did manage to counter battery one of his Akatsaya and we did kill the T80 BBK. So overall, I would say these paid themselves off. But ideally, you want to have more kills than this on Malkus when you bring them in. I think I brought them in early and then I didn't actually end up using them for a little while. So that's kind of my bad. Uh, then further down, we got the T62s, the SU22s kind of just coming up clutch late game to hold down ground. And that's pretty much your lot. His Osas here scoring lots of kills. Look how many aircraft he shot down. Uh, plenty of MiG 21s being used, which is pretty staple with KDA. Throwaway bombers that are just fantastic for gaining a lead early on. Uh, but yeah, he got his Osas up early for sure and definitely punished me. There was that one time where he killed three of my MiG 21s that all came in at the same time. So nice play by him. But yeah, this time around. Not quite enough to get the job done for him. And I'm able to take myself a second game in what is a nail-biting series so far. Crazy stuff. And there you have it. Game three of this best of five. It is now 2-1 in my favor. We'll have to see if I can seal the deal in game four or if Matrin can make a comeback and potentially push us to a game five. I'll have to wait and see. That's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.